Sarah is watching the chance for some severe weather for parts of the viewing area later on today. Yeah, that's right. So we have gone ahead and we've issued a first alert day for our Tuesday. The reason for that being the potential for strong to severe storms later on this evening. So it's important to stay weather aware as you head into your dinner time hour and this evening. We'll look to see these storms potentially firing off uh, after five o'clock this evening. So primary threat for that severe weather will be along and south of I-90 and uh, even a little bit closer towards that I-35 corridor. So uh, severe weather looking possible to likely for our area as we head into the evening hour. So again, stay weather aware. We're also dealing with that dangerous heat in parts of our viewing area as well today. Day. Heat advisory in place for counties along and south of I-90 until 8 o'clock this evening. So we're looking at that beautiful sunshine this this afternoon. Gorgeous conditions to be outside, although rather hot and muggy. So this is a live look at your Lewiston Auto Live camera network across the area. So uh, we're looking at a bright, clear, quiet skies overhead off to our west, tracking a line of some showers and thunderstorms, strong to severe storms as well. And that'll kind of be the line that we're going to keep an eye on as it slowly kind of makes its way uh, closer to Minnesota and Iowa later on this evening. But overhead, a very muggy air mass has kind of overtaken the upper Midwest. We're looking at dew points in the low 30s around the Med City, even the low 80s in Charles City, 81 for that dew point. There. So very muggy conditions here across the region. Uh, temperatures uh, into those mid and upper 80s already. Heat index values into the 90s for many. Charles City already feeling as if it's at 105 degrees. So uh, try and stay cool, stay hydrated today the best that you can. But because we have this alert day, we are tracking strong to severe storms uh, possible for our area that later on this evening. As we head towards the mid and late week, we'll look to be a little bit cooler. Seasonal temperatures and conditions will be drying out. So break from that rain and a quieter weather pattern for our area. But as we head towards the weekend, then tracking some seasonal temperatures, temperatures to continue in our area and some isolated showers and storms as well. But kind of timing here throughout the rest of your Tuesday for this first alert day. Temperatures continue to remain into those upper 80s. Some many spots maybe looking at some low 90s as well as we head towards the dinner time hour about five, six o'clock starting to see showers and thunderstorms developing off towards our west continuing to become a bit more widespread again, staying mainly along and south of I-90. That will be our main threat there for those severe storms in our region. We'll look to see those storms continuing through the early evening hours and look to see things quieting up during the first half of the overnight hour. So very early Wednesday morning conditions looking to dry out a bit more. Still few a few lingering showers are possible as we head into the rest of your Wednesday morning. Then things looking looking to be drier, quieter as well, looking to get a little bit of some sunshine in the area by the noon hour as cloud cover slowly begins to break up. Temperatures will be a bit more seasonal into those upper 70s and low 80s by the end of Wednesday. Then for Thursday conditions looking to dry out, but that severe risk for today will look to see severe storms possible too likely again that primary concern look to be south of I-90 of a long and west of the I-35 corridor. Again, timing will be after 5 o'clock tonight. Large hail, damaging winds, heavy rainfall will kind of be the main concerns, but can't quite possibly can't cannot quite rule out the potential for an isolated tornado or two as well. So again, stay weather aware as we head into the evening hours. Tonight we'll see those overnight temperatures dropping into the upper 60s with those scattered storms in our area. Tomorrow then temperatures a bit more comfortable into those upper 70s to low 80s with those very with those isolated early morning thunderstorms in our area. Checking out that extended forecast then looking to be a bit more comfortable and drier as we head towards Thursday and into the start of the weekend, Jess. Okay, we'll see what happens later on today, but I'm looking forward to so many days on your outlook there. Yes. Thanks, Sarah. The fourth of well, we continue to enjoy some above average temperatures this weekend today featuring more sunshine than we did yesterday. Today, our current temperature is sitting into those low 70s widespread sunshine all across the area today. Here's a live look outside from your Lewis Donato Live Camera Network in Rochester and even in Lake City. A few boats out and about on Lake Pepin today. Some good conditions to get outside. We've got clear skies overhead as we check in with your future track radar off towards west central Minnesota, seeing some showers and some pockets of heavier rainfall, but that will stay out of our area tonight. Locally, we're going to continue on with these quiet conditions and maybe see a couple clouds roll back into the area, but overall 
staying pretty pleasant here for this evening. So the big thing that we're tracking tonight is just a couple clouds rolling back into the area and a quiet evening in store for the region. However, temperatures this week looking to start off warm and then looking ahead to a big temperature swing as we move closer to the late week. Rain chances continue to remain uh, slim to none here the next several days, but uh, maybe some isolated showers possible. For Wednesday. So let's kind of time things out uh, with future track. Things continuing to remain quiet through this evening. A couple clouds moving back in closer to midnight, so we'll stay dry and quiet through the overnight hours tomorrow morning, starting off pretty mild into the low 50s. Looking to see temperatures climbing into the upper 60s by the lunch hour, topping off into the low 70s. So looking to be warm once again through the start of the week. Tuesday continuing on with a very similar trend. Low 50s for the early morning hours, reaching into the upper 60s, even low 70s by the lunch hour, and we'll look to stay into those low 70s through the evening hours. Now, rain showers looking to move in from the western part of the state as we move into Tuesday night. So really locally quiet and dry through Tuesday, but Wednesday maybe looking at our best opportunity at some isolated showers. Now we're still a couple days away, so we'll continue to monitor that rain opportunity, but for the most part staying pretty limited across the KTDC viewing area. Temperatures, however, the next few days, big talking point for the area, staying above average through the first part of the work week. We'll look to see temperatures anywhere from about 5 to 10 degrees above average, settling into those upper 60s to low 70s. Then between Wednesday night and Thursday, seeing temperatures fall rather quickly and dropping into the upper upper 40s, low 50s for the late week. So we'll go from temperatures being about 5 to 10 degrees above average to temperatures being about 10 to 15 degrees below average for the late week. So a tail pretty much of two seasons here as we track through this week. Tonight, however, staying quiet, a couple clouds rolling back in. So looking to be partly cloudy for the area tonight. Looking to see temperatures into the upper 40s, most of us into the low 50s. So we'll see winds pretty light out of the southeast around 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. Looking to see a few clouds here and there, but partly cloudy sky, partly sunny skies for the area. Temperatures area wide looking to be into the low 70s. So some pretty quiet conditions out there to kick off the new work week. Temperatures staying winds staying light out of the south around 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we check out that extended forecast, then looking to see temperatures holding steady into those low 70s. Through Wednesday, Wednesday featuring that opportunity for some isolated showers, uh, I think mainly for the morning hours, but something to certainly keep a close eye on. But we continue to remain rather dry through the late week, even into the weekend as temperatures fall into the upper 40s and low 50s through the early part of the weekend. Julian? Next in sports.